finding the union of sets. In this example, I will refer to the first set as set A, and I will refer to the second set as set B. So in the first example, set A has the members 2, 4, and 6. Set B has 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So the union of these two sets means to bring these two sets together and put all members in one set. So think of members as like people. So who's going to be in this set? You know, everybody's coming to the party from set A and from set B. So who's coming to the party? Well, two, yes, is coming. Four, well, you see four in both sets. It doesn't matter. Four is just one person. So four will be there, six will be there. Who else will be there? We have a name, we have a name eight, eight will be there, 10 will be there, and 12 will be there. Okay, each individual member. So the union of those two sets will be two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. Let's look at the second example. We want to find the union of uh, these two sets, so set A contains A, B, D, F, G, H, and set B contains C, F, G, H, K. And again, when the symbol is facing upward, that's the union of set, which means to simply put them all together and form one set. If any members are uh, repeated, meaning if any member is in both sets, remember it's just one member, you only list it once. So to look at all the members of the set, we would include A, B, going in A, B, C order, C, D, there is no E, so F, G, H, and who we have it named K. And so those are uh, the union of the two sets.